Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for staying with us here on 13 Action News Live at 6.30. The slow push to giving out the vaccines here in Southern Nevada may soon get a boost. And that news is coming on the heels of the latest CDC numbers that show the state of Nevada is ranked low when it comes to giving out the vaccine. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez shows you what health officials hope will increase our vaccination numbers. CDC data shows that Nevada is currently at the bottom 10 of state vaccine administration, but local health officials say that those numbers could change for the better starting next week. This CDC vaccine map tracker shows Nevada is currently ranked as the seventh worst state when it comes to administering and giving out the vaccine. Out of more than 187,000 vaccine doses ready to go in Nevada so far, only 24% or only more than 44,000 have been administered. Neighboring states, California and Arizona, are doing just slightly better than the Silver State. We are uh, in the very early stage of this uh, vaccination campaign. And, and yes, uh, our numbers are relatively low, but I know that far from uh, almost everybody else across the country is. Dr. Fermi again from the Southern Nevada Health District says that starting next week, our vaccination numbers should rise as more sites open up to give out the vaccine. Our projections uh, after next week, when we are able to open Cashman and expand some of the other sites, is actually to be able to offer at least uh, somewhere between with, between 40 and, 40 and 45,000 vaccinations a week. As the number of vaccine doses goes up, the county says Allegiant Stadium is being looked at as a possible vaccination site. Clark County spokesman Eric Papa said in a statement that it is a potential resource we can utilize if we need to, but nothing is definitive. SNHD also said that possibly in the next couple of weeks, Vaccinations for seniors could also begin for those who want them, and more information will be given out in the next couple of days. Reporting from SNHD, Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News.